The damage now exposing FEMA assistant gaps in Appalachia. Many mountainous areas are closed off to regular people right now. Let me just stop you right there. There is no basis for saying that money was stolen from FEMA. Why did you stop it three days ago when the people need help now? It's frankly disappointing that we're having to deal with this narrative. The volunteers would be arrested if they flew into the danger zone. They are doing the worst job on a hurricane. Everything you heard there was a lie. headed up to Chimney Rock and uh, gotta, I have to have a guide to get up there. Like they're literally letting, it doesn't matter who you are, you're not getting up there. Even the residents can't get up to where they're doing the work uh, just because it's so dangerous. Not that they can't get up there, there's nothing, no reason to be up there. There's only one Starlink up there apparently. So we're gonna get the people a Starlink and then the workers will help their Starlink. I'm just gonna guess it's gonna be a pretty emotional day because a lot of these people truly lost everything. Lake Lure. You can see the debris floating out there. First checkpoint passed. Now you guys see why they don't let people up here, right? <laughs> this is very much an active construction zone. All right, this is our second checkpoint. Yeah, this is the restaurant I think where people are kind of gathering throughout the day. Hey, it's Mike Hager here. Uh, local resident of Lake Lure, right outside of Lake Lure, working with uh, Chimmy Rock, helped them put this thing back together. Yeah, he's uh, my personal escort up here. There is no getting up here uh, without a resident, and it's it's for good reason, guys. It's because these people are trying to rebuild, not do tours of damage. And, so, and all the stores are all still open yeah. with all the merchandise in them. Oh, really? Yeah, so so you'll see those. That's good to know. Yeah. We have a couple hotels that are still intact right down here. You'll see them, but we've got those up and running. The hotels are up and running with it. Okay, they're housing small, first responders. Too small That's great. Up here on the, on the left. This way. There's a the house right there. Fortunately, they must have. What found, are they bringing in? They got an must injury. Have found something down oh, there. must have found something down there. We're stopped. Uh, Mike's going to go find out what's going on over there. They've got a bird down there. National Guard's doing something. So you got this destruction, but man, if you just look a little ways up, this place is absolutely breathtaking. They're building the dam over my shoulder, but there it is, guys. No, right there, there it is, Chimney Rock. Uh, it survived. I mean, it's way up there. I don't know why people said it didn't survive, but it did. So the river, this is where stores used to be. Okay. Yeah. Guys, so you can really tell from here, this, si this sidewalk didn't normally end here, obviously. The river has moved from over there to here. What they're doing right now is they're trying to put the river back where it's supposed to be. So if they dam it up, push it over there, and then get this road reconnected, so you can get back out the other side of town. So we're inside one of the stores on Main Street and we have permission to be here. Um, I'm six feet tall. A typical doorway is eight feet. There's my head. So you can see we're probably standing on two and a half, three feet of mud. The store's basically frozen in time because they had to leave with an hour's notice. And uh, this small business owner has a, a long way to come back. All the merchandise is still here. The reason there's no mud in this one is because it all went through there. So the mayor owns this store. I mean, I guess this is a total loss, obviously. At first, it was just totally devastating. You know, everything coming through and seeing your hometown just displaced in a way that you've never seen it before. But now it's to the point where we're seeing so much progress and we're seeing things get done in a way. And um, you know, I think everybody's really hopeful. Yeah, so we're uh, this, place, this place is too beautiful not to rebuild it. It, it is so beautiful. And this is, you know, this is where I grew up. My first job was down there at the beach on Lake Lure. And um, you know, it's just, it's good to see everybody coming together. What do you guys need going forward? Like people, everybody out there wants to help, right? Obviously right. they can't come up here and help. Right. But what does is, what is Chimney Rock need from everybody who's watching? We're rebuilding. Okay. We're going to bring this beautiful place back. It is going to take time. Be patient with us. Um, don't believe everything that you hear. This is our home. 
So we've we've been working around the clock to do that and just just pray for us. As soon as you guys are ready, open for business. Yes, we got to make that known. Yes, so people can get back up here and start enjoying this beautiful town. Ab absolutely, absolutely. Everybody should at least visit and enjoy Chimney Rock once in their life. The problem we have is people want to help, and, and they they want to give stuff. They want to come in here and help. Yeah. But we've got kind of professionals in here now working, and they would just get in the way. Now there'll be a time for that. Right. But we've just been inundated with people wanting to bring their chainsaws, wanting to bring their shovels. Yeah, we've got to get messages yeah. all day long. And we day. need yeah. to do that, but not right now because we have a lot of big equipment moving. Mm -hmm. This is a small town and a small gorge. No, I've witnessed that. Yeah. I, I feel very much in the way as one person. Yeah, exactly. You know, so I can't imagine there was yeah. untrained people. Right. I stepped backwards as a skid steer was coming up. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's just like you're, you're not self aware because you're not in it. So we have dump trucks bigger than me, bigger than this car. Yeah. The tires are bigger than the car rolling down the road right now. Yeah. You don't, we don't need to you get, get run there. over by that. There's no coming back. Exactly. From it. So this building is one of the few usable buildings left in Chimney Rock. And uh, we're going to get a Starlink deployed and try to get that restaurant open. And that'll be a, a huge win up here. Mm -hmm.